dream, a song to sing. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 behind the scenes facts about the Mamma Mia movies. I'm incredibly clumsy as it is, but I, I was filming and I had to run into a scene at pace and I just sort of ran straight into a lighting stand. Really? Perfect. I mean, the only thing that really comforted me was to see Colin Firth and Stellan Scar <laughs> yeah, yeah. looking equally as terrified on the day we did the recordings. Let's go, shall we? Before I embarrass myself further. <laughs> okay. For this list, we'll be looking at stories and tidbits from behind the cameras that make us appreciate and enjoy this movie franchise even more. Do you know of any other behind the scenes facts we've left out? If so, voulez-vous share them with us in the comments? Number 10. Lily James broke her toe. Mamma Mia, here we go again. I have to tell you, when you walked out, I saw a little bit of a limb. Yeah, I have a little broken toe. Oh no! <laughs> This self-proclaimed accident-prone actress revealed that she broke her toe after running straight into a lighting stand. She was meant to run onto the scene, but moved perhaps a little more vigorously than she intended. And my little toe sort of just snapped. Oh, the other way. <laughs> At first, she thought she'd just stubbed it and continued to film through the pain. Yes, However, with plenty of upcoming dance scenes and the discovery that it was in fact broken, the crew was left with no choice but to delay filming until she could dance again. In an Instagram post from Thanksgiving 2017, James can be seen celebrating with her co-stars while wearing a supportive boot. Number 9. Spot the green screen. Mamma Mia, here we go again. So I've been sleeping in this farmhouse. I don't know who owns it, but it's the most beautiful place in the world. Via a viral tweet, fans of the sequel discovered that quite a bit of green screen was used in filming. But don't worry, that doesn't mean that these breathtaking landscapes are too good to be true. Some filming, such as share scenes, took place at Shepparton and Pinewood Studios in the UK. But most scenes were filmed on location. The Greek island of Skopelos, and in the sequel, the island Vis in Croatia, make up the landscape of the film's fictional Calocary. You can't watch this movie without developing serious wanderlust. Number 8. I Have a Daydream? Mamma Mia! While we're on the subject of CGI, you know that scene where Sophie gets in a boat and sings I Have a Dream? I have a dream, a song to sing. The one that serves as the catalyst for the entire movie's plot. Well, actually, also the final scene where Sophie and Skye set sail. If you see the wonder of a fairy tale. Anyway, remember the way the moon beautifully lights up the scene? Well, what if we told you that it was actually filmed during the day? Sorry to ruin the illusion, but these scenes were really shot in daylight and edited later in post-production. It's hard to believe, we know. But hey, that's the magic of cinema. Across the street, I have a dream. Number 7. Off-Screen Romance, Mamma Mia! Look into his angel eyes, one look and you're hypnotized. It wasn't just Sophie who fell for Skye's angel eyes. Amanda Seyfried and Dominic Cooper embarked on an approximately three-year-long relationship after meeting on the Mamma Mia set. As Seyfried said, it's very easy to fall when, quote, you're put in a situation where you have to make out with each other. However, she also said that Cooper broke her heart. So we can only imagine that playing the same couple once again might have presented a little awkwardness or, as Cooper put it, created a delicate situation. Yay! 
still, a decade had passed, the pair had remained friends, and they were professionals with a job to do. Number six, Pierce Brosnan didn't know what he'd signed up for. Mamma Mia. Did you understand how big it was gonna be? No, I don't think anyone expected that. It's I don't giant. Think... That's right. The Irish actor signed up for the show without knowing who he'd be playing or what it was even about. Sam Carmichael. After learning that Meryl Streep was involved and that they'd be filming in Greece, Brosnan instantly said yes. He told Cinema that other than posters he'd seen around, he knew nothing about the show. As research, he went to see the stage production and spent the first 15 minutes convincing himself that if Meryl Streep was on board, then it must be good. So when you're near me, darling, can't you hear me? SOS. We wonder if he'd still have said yes so quickly if he knew it was a musical. Um, it's also fun to see you sing, because I, 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 I'm not... Some people think so. <laughs> yeah. Number five, the improvised mother-daughter bond, Mamma Mia. I love how Mama just sat you down here. Sorry, I know. <laughs> I'm so excited. In an interview with the Daily Mail, director Phyllida Lloyd shared some of her favorite memories from the set. One in particular was the tenderness shared between the on-screen mother-daughter duo during Slipping Through My Fingers. Slipping through my fingers all the time, I try to capture every minute. Lloyd let the actors improvise during the scene, and it was Meryl's idea for Sophie to sit on Donna and for Donna to paint her toenails. While this improv was discussed with the director first, Stellan Skarsgård took everyone by surprise with his own bit of cheeky improv, complete with well-placed tattoos. We're serving up the works here. Oh! Think you just digged? Sorry, side up! No one saw it coming, but Lloyd found it so hilarious that it made the final cut. Number four, one shot for the wedding dance scene, Mamma Mia. That final scene where Aphrodite's fountain erupts, showering all the partygoers, is truly magical. And although they wanted to create a spontaneous euphoria on screen, behind the scenes was a whole other story. As Lloyd told the Daily Mail, they only really had one chance at getting the shot. After all, just think of all the costumes, delicate wigs, and actors that they would have to dry off. Fortunately, Aphrodite was on their side, and the first take was a success. The close-knit cast used this scene to celebrate their time together, so what we're seeing is everyone genuinely having the time of their lives. This was once supposed to be the site of Aphrodite's fountain, you know, the, the goddess of love. And if you drank the water, you were supposed to find true love and perfect happiness. <laughs> Number three, Benny Anderson and Bjorn Ulvius cameos. Mamma Mia and Mamma Mia, here we go again. The Mamma Mia movies are like a game of where's Waldo for any ABBA fan. Except, you're actually looking for Benny Anderson and Bjorn Ulvius. In the first movie, Anderson can be seen sitting at the piano during Dancing Queen. And in the sequel, you can spot him playing the piano again during Waterloo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ulvius, on the other hand, takes his place among the Greek gods on Mount Olympus during Waterloo as the first film wraps. However, you don't have to wait as long to spot him in the sequel, as he plays a teacher in the opening number, When I Kiss the Teacher. When I kiss the teacher, <laughs> and they must have thought they dream. Number two, thank you for the music even the deleted songs, Mamma Mia. With so many amazing songs to choose from, it's almost inevitable that some ended up on the cutting room floor. If you're familiar with the stage production, you'll notice that songs like Under Attack, One of Us, and Name of the Game do not feature in the film, although the latter two were used in the sequel. There's also a deleted scene from the 2008 flick where Sophie sings Name of the Game to Bill. So I wanna know, what's the name of the game? In the sequel, I Wonder Departure, which features on the soundtrack, was cut too. I wonder, it's frightening. Clearly, we need a third movie just so we can keep exploring ABBA's phenomenal catalog. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.
you have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Other Actors They Nearly Took a Chance On – Mamma Mia What's the name of the game? As is the name of the game, the cast and crew had several ideas for the actors they'd like to star in the movie. Donny Osmond was considered for Sam, and American Pie actor Chris Klein's audition for Sky now lives in infamy on the internet. I wasn't jealous before we met. Now every man that I see is a potential threat. Amanda Bynes, Emmy Rossum, Mandy Moore, and Seyfried's fellow plastic Rachel McAdams were all considered for Sophie, too. So we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> On Wednesdays, we wear pink. They also thought about casting Olivia Newton-John or Michelle Pfeiffer as Donna. Not a chance. Boys, put me down. Oh, good morning, ladies! However, as a longtime fan of the uplifting and life-affirming musical, Meryl Streep knew that she wanted the role. When all is said and done, we can't imagine the cast any other way. When all is said and done. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.